Well, this is the third multi-stakeholder meeting of the Global Agenda of Action in support of sustainable livestock development. We've had two before, so this is maybe the first time they've got a whole range of different stakeholders together here in Nairobi to see what action can we take jointly in order to move our livestock on a more sustainable development of The livestock sector is not particularly good at articulating how, how it should move forward. I think they all agree that some of these controversies around the livestock sector are not very useful. They put the livestock sector into a bad light very often and they don't fully exploit the social and economic development opportunities that the livestock sector hosts. Whether you are in the intensive production system or extensive production system, there is a danger that if we continue to do business as we are doing today, we will reach the cliff in terms of natural resource. We are, the demand in the animal product is very high, the resources are becoming scarce, so we need to change the way we are doing business to be able to feed uh, the growing population in Africa. How do we change? Will depends on where we stand. And as African Union, you know in, in Africa, most of the production system is the extensive production system. We find it very important that restoring the value of grasslands is a very important area that we need to pursue. And that is why we are very keen as an institution to push our stakeholders, that is the African stakeholders, to participate very actively in that vocal area. This meeting brings together a huge diversity of stakeholders working on livestock issues and as a research organisation we want to make sure that our research is connected to the bigger whole, to the development sector, the investors who are also working on livestock. It's not only livestock production that has an important impact, basically all human activity does, but I think it's exciting that in the livestock sector we are working together to make sure that for the future we meet the growing needs and there will be a growing need for meat production in the future for a growing population, in particular for a growing population in developing countries that aspire to a lifestyle similar to what we have. What's interesting about this discussion is it's a bit of a moving target because what society wants in general um, in terms of, of uh, what we do, in terms of, of how meat is produced for example, that, that depends on the context in different countries, depending on the level of economic development. Quite simply, if you have quite a, enough to eat, then you can think about other things like environment. But if you don't have enough to eat, perhaps your, your, your biggest concern is about just where, where it is, how it is you're going to uh, make it to the next meal. To us, we see a great, the greatest challenge is that there has been increasing knowledge and information regarding livestock development. And also there have been increasing problems and challenges at the same time. The idea that it should be that the increasing knowledge should reduce the problems, but this is not happening. Should we be able to improve the livestock industry for the sake of the poor pastoralists and other livestock keepers, we must look at what that links the knowledge to practical solutions. आपने भेड़ पालों का से लिए आपके सोशल ग्रुप से अभी I have come uh, from India on behalf of the uh, shepherds from northern Karnataka formed a cooperation of 10,000 shepherds and they've seen me off before I came here to Kenya and my desire is that all the livestock keepers of the world, including the shepherds, the camel keepers, the cow herders, the pig herds, even the ones who keep chicken, that they jointly uh, unite and try to solve their problems and make the world aware of their problems. Our livestock breeds, the local, the native livestock breeds, are, uh, are the best uh, choice we have in hand in the climate change scenario which is going on unfortunately so we uh, we were thinking to represent our plea our idea uh, in uh, a, at such a high level to 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 tell them about the importance of native livestock breeds which can be a good tool in sustainable livestock production systems in the future uh, 
Um, I think that uh, consumption of livestock products is going to continue to grow. I think that emissions are going to continue to grow from the livestock sector. I think, though, that there are a lot of opportunities to increase the efficiency and, and think about ways to continue to increase productivity because that's what the world and that's what people want, um, while doing it in a more efficient way to reduce our emissions. The reasons that I'm pessimistic stem from failures at the international level to reach agreement about um, emission reductions, and I think it's a really hard problem. I tell my students that, um, that what we need is an international agreement that all countries agree to that affects every aspect of everybody's everyday lives. That I'm optimistic that um, once people begin to realize that this is a serious issue, that there will be some kind of action, and I think that, um, I think that we can change. How fast and how much it will affect emissions, I'm not sure.